Welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare, and today we are making the Class Nukem High Toxic Meltdown. This is a cocktail based off of that series of films that takes place in a fictional city called Tromaville, New Jersey. I'm actually from Jersey, so this is something I would like to make, but it's like they're saying toxic, Tromaville, just everything is polluted. It's not always that way. Maybe North, South Jersey, not as much. That's why I figured we should be two different states. But anyhow, this cocktail is going to be fairly potent. Some of the ingredients that come in there. Obviously, you have your 151. That's going to bring your most potency. And you have tequila. And this time, I'm going with Jose Cuervo. Traditional. No especial. Especial, don't ever buy that crap. Traditional, that's actually pretty good. I'm also using blue vodka, or blue carousel, rather. And melon liqueur. And topping it with black vodka. And I'm chasing using orange juice, pineapple juice, and lemon lime soda. This is going to be a shake and strain cocktail into a highball. Let's show you how it's made. First thing you want to do is take your 151. You want to do about half an ounce of that. Now we'll go into your shaker. We want to do one ounce of tequila. And you have too many of these, you definitely do one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four. Corn right now. Hence is the movie. Then you want to take half ounce blue carousel. Then one ounce of your melon liqueur. This will finish the alcohol portion of this cocktail for the time being. Whoa, a little too much there. Then you want to take one ounce of orange juice. Then two ounces of pineapple. Tell you what, this stuff is pretty damn sour by itself. Alright. Then you want to give it a shake and strain. Add some ice to your glass. Next thing you want to do is take your highball glass, add some ice to that, and strain it all in. This is a nice thick green color, kind of toxic. Top that with some lemon lime soda. Just a splash, more if you need be. And then to finalize it, just take about half ounce of black vodka. Drizzle on top. 
So this is actually going to flow for the most part because of the amount of alcohol that it has. Plus you got a lot more juices and stuff on the bottom. And there you go. The Toxic Meltdown. Very good presentation to the cocktail. It's kind of cool how it, it just, it's real thick on top as far as the black. And just kind of tendrils just tend to fall a little bit. Get that nice black thick color. And the bottom part, as you can see, remains green. Actually looks pretty good. Now obviously the first thing you're going to get hit with flavor-wise would be the black vodka because obviously that's on top and it's a wild berry flavor so you're going to taste that first. Let's try it out. Definitely get that hit of the berry. The next thing I notice is you get the tequila. I think I noticed about Jose Cuero, even the traditional compared to any other one, is is very potent. It's kind of a bit of a peppery flavor to it. It stands out amongst anything you really put it in because of that agave. That's actually 100% agave, not the crappy Jose Cuero Gold or uh, the Especial, which is like maybe what two percent tequila. Well, not really, maybe like forty percent, but it has a lot of different things in there. But that's actually not bad. If you could actually go back to my video, you see I did a review on it. So you can tell it's actually a good one. Now, you kind of... You get a little bit of that melon flavor. Not strong. You get more of the tropical flavors like your, your pineapple. That definitely stands out amongst anything else in there. 151, you barely ever... You don't taste that at all. As far as the potency... It's like nothing. You don't really get much potency at all. You're putting a decent amount of alcohol in there. Because you're putting about... One, two... Three ounces of alcohol. Amongst basically three ounces of juice. So it's a half-half. But... You don't really taste alcohol. Because the fruit just kind of... Knocks the alcohol completely out of it. It's actually very flavorful. And it does kind of look like a toxic, like a chemical bath type thing. So that's a good idea. Definitely something worth trying out too, if you can get a whole black vodka and everything else. Well, hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails. And as always, drink responsibly. Bye.